It's a very distinct smell that enters into your nostrils and kind of lingers there. The noxious smell of burning peatlands fills the air. At that time, Palankaraya in central Kalimantan was just veiled, completely absorbed in a thick, acrid smog. It came in a number of different shades and colors, like thick white or gray, and, and then it would reach a yellow. And then at the worst of it, it would be like a deep orange. On a bad day, you can see as far as five meters. You can't see the building on the other side of the road. And I think about where I am, and it dawns on me that I'm in the... This is one of the worst places to be in the world right now because there's no, there's no clean air, there's no oxygen for 100 kilometers in every direction. And then when I thought about going to get oxygen at the hospital, I realized that the hospital is probably overflowing with people now. There's not enough oxygen in Palankaraya. It's been so hard to get bottles shipped here. And also the air, airport's closed, no way in and out but I think of all the, the families that are now in these wooden huts along the river, completely exposed. I think of all the children, all the babies and the, the mothers, and just how helpless everyone must be at this time and how dangerous it is. I'd really start to feel the, the burden of, of being in this environment and the heaviness of, of it and, and all the encounters with the people, the firefighters, the, the local communities, and, and to witness what they're enduring and what they're doing to somehow cope with the situation. The situation is so horrendous and so off the charts, it's very hard to accept and hard to believe that this is what's happening and that it can just be, that it can just go on like that and that it can be accepted. But for local people living in this environment, there would be this kind of strange normality. And yet you can't help but feel like the entire province is in a state of shock, in a state of trauma in a state of denial because the entire province is thick with this unbelievable smog that just you don't get to see anywhere else in the world. We experience these fires every year. They're always difficult to go through. It's always, always raises questions as to why it's happening.